Good day, everybody. My name is Christopher Kalawale. Welcome back to my channel, and it has been a very long time. And now, today, we're going to finalize our Python games, Python shapes games, which is based on area, perimeter, and volume. Now, we're going to finalize it in this video. So without further ado, let's get straight into the, into the code. Now, here with me is print. Welcome to the volumes of shapes. This is a volumes of shapes game. Have a good learning experience. Do not use this to cheat in school. Yes, cheat at school. Because if you cheat, they're probably not going to give you the grade. So class cylinder, pi equals to 3.14. So def in its self radius and height. So self dot radius equals to radius, self dot height equals to height. So this means it's the radius and the height. And then the volume is pi r squared h for a cylinder. So pi equals to 3.14 and radius equals to radius. And the height is height. So if you input the two floats, which is also known as decimals, we would run it. And this follows according to sequence of OOP, object oriented programming. This forms in a fold of fields. The fields come in forms of data and the code comes in forms of procedures. And that's why it's called procedural programming because it's in procedures. First, the class, then if you need to insert a variable, insert it, then it's optional to do the dev class. And then after that, place your variables. Then after placing your variables, just go straight to the question. And then after input those variables inside from the class and place it inside here, and then you print it. That's why it's called procedural programming because it follows into a simple amount of procedures. And then the code, the code is one third of the cylinder and cylinder is times three of the cone. So self dot radius equals to radius and self dot height equals to height. So volume is the same, pi r squared h divided by three. So that means it's also known as one over three times pi r squared h. And that's why it's like this. So radius equals to radius and height equals to height. There we go. And then after we have a sphere. The sphere is four over three times pi r squared. So that's the volume. So that's pi r squared. So volume equals to four over three times pi r squared. So sub the radius equals to radius. So the volume of that sphere is the volume. So cube side. All you need to do is to multiply the side with cubes by itself three times. Like three times three times three equals to 27. Side, and a side, just volume side times side times side. Then the volume of that cube is volume to two significant figures. Then the cuboid is length times breadth times height. All you need to do is to multiply three of them and then you get a number. It's as easy as math, except it is math, if you understand, you get what I mean in the scenario. So length, breadth, and height. So volume equals to length, breadth, and height. So the volume of that cuboid is volume to two significant figures. And then finally, we have the pyramid class. Def in itself, length, breadth, and height. Then it's just the pyramid is sub dot area of base equals to area of base, then height equals to height. So if you excuse me, let me just change this to area of base so it goes in line with the code. Because if you put something that is not defined, it will definitely give you an error by default. Yes. So I'll also teach you how to put a fraction in programming. So in case you tackle things like this, there we go. So self dot area of base times height will give you, also if you divide by three, it will give you your results. 
So all you need to do is to enter your area of base and enter the area of height and then you get a pyramid. So let us count how many shapes we did today so that we, it can be easier for us to answer the quiz. One, two, three, four, five, six. So today we did six shapes with the volume. So now we're going to go straight to our quiz and test ourselves on our programming knowledge and from this video. Now, this is our quiz. We're going to run this quiz. And one day in programming, I'm going to teach you how to make this kind of quiz. So let's start our quiz for today. So during the video where we're going to make the quiz, I think we're also going to do another quiz for ourselves in that same scenario. It's going to be made in JavaScript, HTML, and CSS all together. Here we go. The answer is B, obviously. And this is why this involves STEM too. That's three. That's three questions down, seven to go. The answer is six as we've calculated and counted by ourselves so it can be easier for us to answer the quiz. Next. There we go. The cone is one third of the cylinder and the cylinder is three times the cone as explained in the video. There are two methods of doing this. Two methods. Number one, by putting the numerator and separating it from the denominator. And number two is the most smartest one you could ever do. All you need to do is to multiply the numerator, which is the variables, multiply by the number in the fraction, and then you divide it by the denominator, which is also the, num the number you are going to put at the, de at the denominator in a fraction. That's two methods of doing things. We're going to do the next five questions. And after that, my motivational quote comes. And then we're going to run the program. From the video shown, what does volume to two significant figures mean? So this one is two significant figures mean. So it's actually this A. Not three figures. It does not mean remain unchanged. Going to two figures, wrong. It's two figures, wrong. It's two significant figures. And two significant figures also means important, the two most important figures. So you're going to round it to two significant figures. Once we run our program, you will understand. That's Python 1.6. Next.
What does the input text from the video mean? So here we go. Next, the final question. What is object-oriented programming? Data in the form of fields, or fields in the form of data, and code in the form of procedures. Hooray, we have completed the quiz. Now let's go to the motivational quote of the day. At times, whenever things take a very long time to do, you have to take it in steps. That's how it took me to become a professional programmer. And also learn from the best too, and also to do you the best you can, because that's how you develop. Do the best you can, take it to baby steps, until you reach the professional level, and then take a time to learn from people if you need to. Because that's how I became one, and that's why I'm sitting here today talking to you. Now without, Wasting time, let's run our code. Yeah, it's the code we're going to write. So let's enter in a radius. And height, we're going to say 16 and it gives us our answer. But before we are going to see the answer, let's see if we can get this ourselves. So pi times two times radius, or radius squared, my mistake. I also did the same thing with the cone. I also did the same thing with the cone. Lucky I came back to run this, right? Good, good, good. So we're going to rerun this again. So that's 22 over 7 times 81 times 16. Or let's just say 14 to make it easier for us. So times 81 times 14, that's... 22 times 162 will be 3,564. Well, I estimatedly guessed it though. But that's its own answer, like I've said in the previous videos. So now let's run this one. 8 and 14. So it's 22 over 7 times 64 times 14, and that would be 2, 128 times 22. That would be, oh, let's make it 12. Nope, nope, we're going to run this again. Sorry, guys. So let's make it the same one. Let's divide this by three and we get something around 1,187. Yup, it's an estimated guess. It's an estimated guess, if you think of it that way. I was just calculating the 22 over seven, but here's the actual results. That's the mistake we've been making throughout these videos, guys. I've just recognized that. It's calculated with 3.14. So the next one is the sphere. 4 times pi times radius. So that will be 4 times 22 over 7 times 9. So that will be 7. So that will be... That's 616 divided by 3. 
That will not work. So let's use another number. Let's use 21. So 4 over 3 times the pi, which is 22 over 7, times the radius here. So that's 4 times pi, which is 22 over 7. 4 times pi, that's 88 over 7 times 21, which will give us 264 times 64 divided by 3, technically. So 4 over 3 times 22 over 7 is technically 88 over 21 times 21. That's technically 88. But I might have estimated this one, but it's 1,846 by that. So if we put 21 there, we're going to redo the math ourselves. So 4 over 3 times 22 over 7, that's 88 over 21, times 441. So 88 times 21 will be 1,848. So it's estimating us to this according to the actual answer. So I've recalculated it myself and it's 1,848, but this one is the closest one to it and it's the actual answer. So we're going to the simplest of all, the cube, the cuboid, and the pyramid. So let's go to the cube first. So I'm entering 8, which will give us 512. But for the cuboid, I have to enter three sides. 9, 8, 7, which gives us 504. Area of base will give us 12. I'll just say 12 for myself and 8. So 12 times 8 over 3, that's 32. Yay, we got it. We got it, guys. And that's why we should take everything in baby steps. That's why I had to simply take time to calculate before running so that we don't end up just saying that's the answer, but we also needed to check and see if you're actually correct. That's why we should use our skills. And it's been a very good day. And I wish you all farewell to my next video and ensure to subscribe to my channel. If you are really loving these videos, please subscribe. I really appreciate it if you subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone.